Tea, 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 too strong tea. now. Yeah. Pour your tea. <sighs> Pour your tea. You know, we're sorted. We're now, sorted though. now. The tea's made. Welcome back this morning. We're helping you beat those Monday blues with a nice chocolate treat. Yes, Edward Hayden is going to knock the Monday blues out of us. And I have to tell everyone that myself and Lucy are OK. Everyone's yeah. wondering, you Lucy are open. <laughs> <laughs> Their marriage is fine. Their marriage is just uh, yeah. fine. And if Lucy's watched this morning, I'll bring you home some orange and chocolate yeah. chip, chip tray bread. Just, just because you're after getting 18,000 uh, I know, I'm in big trouble. Proposals during the ad break. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not happy with her, Tommy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the, the, the oh, he, can, he can listen attentively more into the recipe and learn how to make this, and he can tell her he loves her with I'll cake. Be, I'll be in the good bits. That's how yes, you do yes. it. Chocolate and cake, can't uh, go wrong. I'm going to do a lovely sugar burst for you this morning, so I'm going to do a chocolate and... Orange and chocolate <laughs> chip <laughs> cake. What am I doing? Was this talk of love yeah, getting too much yeah, for you, Andrew? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm all loved up. Uh, orange and chocolate chip, chip tray bake is what I've got. So I've got eight ounces, two 25 grams of butter and sugar. So I've got that really well softened there and I'm just going to pop that into my machine and give that a really good beat. Now the butter is nice and soft. Then what I've got here is I've got an orange, okay, and I'm going to put the full zest of the orange in there. Now again, we were chatting this morning about the orange and chocolate combination. Yeah. Some people like it, some don't. Um, but where again, me and Alan fall out again. You don't yeah. like it. I have to say, it's not very orangey, though. Yes, well, you see, again... Um, what is this? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. it is. There's plenty the of orange in that. Orangey. And orange juice as well. Oh, I think it is very orangey. I've got the full zest of an orange, so I'm going to pop that in there uh, as well with the kind of the butter and the sugar, and that's really creaming up nicely. Now, again, as I said, what's of cardinal importance is to ensure that the kind of the sugar is uh, and the butter is really softly mixed. Do you put you the kind of juice in it as well? I'm going to put the juice on top, on, actually, in just a second. Once okay. it comes out of the oven, uh, I'm going to soak it in the juice. So that's oh. basically that. Then what I've got here is I've got my four eggs. OK, so as I said, eight ounces of uh, butter and sugar. I've got four eggs. So this is like a kind of a classic Victoria sponge mixture for all the world. Put that in. And then I have got eight ounces, 225 grams of self-raising flour, which I've sifted a little bit earlier on. And then what I normally do just so that we don't appear in a big cloud of smoke. Just give this a little preliminary mix with your spatula okay. just to get all of that mixed in. And then I'm going to return that gently uh, to my mixer and let the mixer kind of get that really well beaten up. I want to give you a little kind of a tip now for your um, chocolate chips in just a few minutes because you can see that mine are evenly distributed. Uh, somebody in will write bake. in in the bake. Someone will write in and say that their chocolate chips go to the bottom because yeah. that How can sometimes happen. How I'm going to show you now in two seconds. So I've got my tin here. A couple of minutes there, just. Yeah. That's all right. I, you, I could do an awful oh, lot in a couple can, of minutes. Of uh, <laughs> Eleven by nine um, tin oh. I've got here. I've greased that and I'm just putting a bit of parchment paper just across it there without compromising uh, the shape of the tin. So what I've got then is that mixture is fully done and then I'm going to add in my chocolate chips. Rather than doing the chocolate chips uh, in the mixer, I like to do them by hand, OK? So we'll give that a good scrape off. And why do you not have the whole base of the tin covered? Uh, just, it just means that this kind of be lifting out, but you won't ruin the oh, shape of the okay. of the cake. So here I've got my You're chocolate chips. Questions this morning. Tom. <laughs> right. Stop asking questions. Let him and that doesn't same. give me the time to answer them. <laughs> now I'm going to mix in my chocolate yeah. chips in there, just like so. So I'm going to mix in a good lot of the chocolate chips. I've got about a hundred grams of those. Uh, pop those into my uh, tin. So give them a nice little mix around. Pop them in, and then with the remaining chocolate chips, what I tend to do is just pop them in on the top. OK, so pop and spread that right out nice and quickly. And then I'm just going to take a few more of those chocolate chips. Uh, again, if I can just say, we'll obviously scrape things out much better at home. So I'm not uh, being wasteful. It's only a minute. Pop those in, that's all right. It's like <laughs> cooking on speed, speed cooking. Now, uh, just give those a little mix. See what I'm doing? I'm just dabbing the mixture around yeah, just like that. Is that, a, is that a technical term, dabbing? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, very technical, Donna Greg Naman. 180, 350, gas mark four for about 30 minutes or thereabout. But that's then, how it keeps them. There you have it. It, it the keeps top. them buoyant in the, oh, in the okay. mixture. Then what I've got is I've just taken this out of the oven. I always cut the crust off it to give you that lovely mm, shape. Wow, and wow. then the juice of that orange, I'm going to pop the juice of half an orange 
over the top. And then I have a little bit of um, da -da, melted wow. chocolate. I've got some melted dark chocolate here, which I'm just going to put on the top. And then I have a little bit of melted white chocolate, which we can bob on the top of that as well. And uh, just give a few little smathers bob of is that. a technical term. few well. bobs, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then what I tend to do is just get your knife and just swirl it around so that you've got lovely swirls of that chocolate over the top, uh, just like that. Now, absolutely, we're going to cut that up. You can see I've got it done there. Now, you are terribly rude to be laughing at me after I'm coming not... up from the country this morning and bringing you cake. You are bringing no cake home now to Lucy or Carol or anyone else. You can bake your own. That's what I have to say. <laughs> Everyone at home will bake it. <laughs> it looks it tastes delicious. <laughs> It's gorgeous, Edward. That's good. That's good. It's good. Look, at I've eaten mine. It's, it's all gone. gone. It's, it's all gone. beautiful. It's so soft as well. Yes, of course. <laughs> You'll get a belt of an orange now when this is over. You'll get the orange full impact. <laughs> it's anyway, I think everyone at home will think it's lovely. I they will. They'll think it's gorgeous. Are you going to put it up on oh. the clay thing? Oh, no, we have it here. Look at these. Yes. Look at yeah. these. Isn't that, that's absolutely delicious. Now, I have it up on the platter and then cut them up Beautiful. just like that. And these are gorgeous if you're having friends around for coffee or people are still returning to the workforce uh, and the workplace bring them in gently. a little treat. Bring those in a little treat just like that. Thank you And say so you saw them on the telly with Edward. <laughs> Edward, as always, a pleasure. I wonder. Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> Edward. You can slap Tommy now in a minute. Yeah. No, you can't. No, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, <laughs> so delicious, thank Edward. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Still lots more to come in the next hour of Ireland. Yeah, we'll be meeting a campaigner to discuss what needs to be done to make women feel safe on our streets. Oh, I've needed a laugh. And the code line, Steve Garrigan is going to be here to talk to us about his new memoir, High Hopes. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>